Hey guys! This is all the stuff we bring with us when we go camping. Four totes, every electronics bag, our camping bag, our hiking bag, all of our covers and pillows and everything else happens to fill a six foot, nine inch bed of a pickup. We are packing everything away for um, the winter. We're done camping for 2021. And we wanted to go through this with you and show you the things that we loved, the things that we never touched, um, things that we couldn't live without. As a first time this season going camping, we thought we would bring everything and then pare down what we don't need. And I can tell you, we used a lot of things 20 times and we used a lot of things none. Yep. So this video is just gonna be um, sharing with you the things that we love and things that we are gonna leave at home next time. Disclaimer is, this is what we do. What you do with your family, what you do when you go camping will be different. And that is okay, that is important. It is, this is what we need. We camped down to 42 degrees this year. So this is what we brought. It might not be what you bring. tote which is our kitchen tote it has all of our cooking utensils and things like that in it we love to cook we that's the honestly the main purpose for us and uh, tent camping most of the time is we enjoy figuring out what we can make with what we have yep um honestly not much is leaving our kitchen tote we have our spices in here all of the like seasonings and everything that i would use i buy all of the like pre-mixed mccormick i don't do anything super fancy and then our sauces for our ketchup and our ranch and things like that that we've collected from McDonald's and all the other random places, that's our sauces. Yeah, so our utensils, of course, we'll keep these. We have more grill utensils somewhere. Yes. This is all trash. With, our other utensils are with our Blackstone currently. This is all of our corn on the cob holders, our uh, random leftovers you know, and kitchen, scissors, kitchen towel, can opener. Yep, so all that stays. All of that was used many times. We have our dish soap and scrubby. I'll have to get um, some more scrubbies to refill that. Yep. Also this tablecloth, it's like a reusable one. It's still in good shape, so keep this. Disinfectant wipes, plates, and Cutlery. We will need to refill this. We're out of forks. We yeah. <laughs> the, every one of the forks. Gone. Gone. These are just uh, leftover containers, and then we have our trash can with our trash bags inside. The important part about this trash bag or this trash can is that it zips up. When you're out and you need mm -hmm. to hang it, you can hang it from you know one of the shepherd's hooks or whatever. Walmart. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah, definitely. And then just extra zip ups, and of course. We could not camp without my Ray Dunn mug. So that's it for our camping tool. Nothing other than the s'mores we'll be taking out of here. And we'll just need to replenish the things that we used. Yep. So this is our second tote. In here we have towels, blankets, um, any kind of bedding. Um, right now it's kind of a mess because we've been washing everything and making it um, nice and clean to put away. One of the things we forgot to mention earlier is we always keep a little paper with everything that should be in any box. That is uh, one of the tips we've used um, over this last year to keep everything organized. That is, uh, we will add it to the video, a link to our organization. Yes. So in here we just keep towels. I. Um, I kind of go over this in that other video, but I have enough tiles for everyone plus a couple extra and then all the bedding for our bed and the girls' bunks. Um, so we're just going to fold everything and put it in here nice and neat, um, throw some dryer sheets in there with it. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. And then call it good and put it away. Yep. This is the setup tote. This is the tote that is required to come out first whenever we get anywhere. Why is it number three and not number one? Because we're not. Just, just had this. Just had happened. Yep. So, but 
As always, we keep our setup sheet on very top. This tells us what's in the tote, what um, needs to be in the tote, if it's not in this tote, and where everything is. Yep, if we need to restock, we just use this to help remind ourselves what we need. So you'll find things like a shovel. We actually use it to put out fires, we used it for everything. Yeah. It was, I mean, real rock salt. Yeah, we used it a lot. Um, we have various surge protectors because you never know how far you're gonna have to go. So we use surge protectors for everything. Things like our mini fridge and our coffee pot that we yep. cannot, cannot camp without. Okay, so this is our final big tote. Um, this is just our supply tote. It has things like our soaps and shampoos, our um, heater, uh, first aid kit, the kids' toys and play tote, uh, shoes, backpack, picnic blankets, all the other miscellaneous things that you need for camping. Wait, you brought a heater? Yes, yes, we bring a heater. Uh, like I said, we camped down to 45 degrees with a six-year-old. We got the heater when we went to Georgia. It was actually less than and we, I was like, we don't need this, we'll be fine. And he was like, buy the heater. And I'm glad we bought the heater. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's almost too good actually. Yep. So we're gonna go through this tote and see what we can eliminate. Yeah, buddy. The goal I think is to eventually lower the amount of stuff we take. Because the truck bed is as full as it can get. Yeah, when we're done, the tunnel cover doesn't fit on correctly. Yeah. So the goal is to fix that. See what we can do. All right. Right off the bat, I think the one thing we're going to eliminate um, for me is the hiking stuff. Uh, we will still take them on times when we are gonna do hikes, like Rocky Mountain National Park when we hiked them there or whatever. We will absolutely take our hiking stuff with us. But when we went to Alley Spring, we didn't hike anywhere. It no. was hot. Yeah. There was no reason to have big giant you hiking know, shoes. Lake Wapapella, all of that. We, we didn't use them. No. We didn't use them. So um, if it's less than, you know, half a mile and it's paved, what's the point of hiking shoes? Right, we can just wear tennis shoes. So. Right. This whole pile we are going to eliminate from our tote. Yep. We have two picnic blankets, so we're only gonna take one. We don't need both. Um, we're going to keep our heater, keep our first aid kit. We're getting rid of the hammock. The hammock, as great of an idea as it might be, um, finding a branch that is secure enough, taking the rope that will hold the weight of a full grown adult and you know two kids or whatever all at the same time because not one kid is like, oh, I want to go play on this. And then the other kid's like, eh, it doesn't sound fun. That's not okay. how it works. Both of them insist on being on everything all at the same time so they can fight. So what we need to do is find a hammock stand. Yes. That we can take with us. Because I love the hammock. I mean, a hammock stand sounds like it takes up a lot of room. So I'll argue with it and we'll see where it goes and I'll probably end up bringing it. Okay, so our bathroom bag, we're gonna need to go through um, and probably refill stuff. So I'm gonna keep that out so we can kind of go through that. We thought in the beginning a whole bunch of kids games would be fun. Um, there was a tiny little, portable, you know, life, all of that, just in one they capsule. Came, they came from McDonald's Happy Meals. We thought that they would be great in order to keep the kids busy. They mm -hmm. could play board games, all of that. Um, honestly, we never used them. Nope, they've never touched them. No, and when you're camping, you want to be outside. That's the point of it. You know, that's why we have the sidewalk chalk. That's why we have the Frisbee and the glove and mitt. Yeah. Like, we have those things, so we never used them. No, they're, they're going away. They're going to stay at home. Yep. So realistically, this tote is the one we're getting rid of the most stuff out of. Yep. And I, I, I wonder if we could combine them. That's, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'll bet we can eliminate tote four by just being able to fit this stuff into one of the other totes. Yep. And then that will free up a lot of room in the truck. So bag. much room. Um, not for probably a hammock stand, but for probably a hammock stand. Probably definitely for a hammock stand, don't you think? I'll fight it, but we'll see. All right, you wanna to try to combine this stuff into that? Yeah. Let's do it. So we were able to get everything from the last tote into this tote except the shovel and the kids play tote, which is fine because we can 
pull this out and give it to him first to keep him busy. And this still takes up a lot less room than this. Right. So we're down to three toads instead of four, which is exciting. Yeah, it'll, it'll take up less room. Um, there's still a lot of things on the list that we don't, um, aren't on the table for us to show you, like uh, the Blackstone, for instance. All of that stuff's staying, though. Like, we use the Blackstone religiously. Yeah. We used the mini fridge. We used... The little fold-up table in our tent. Yeah. The, the girls' little, bunks, our mattresses. Yeah, yeah. All of that stuff you don't see because all of that stuff is soft-sided, meaning all of that stuff, all of our pillows that we take, our, um, the covers that aren't in there or whatever, um, the big tarp, we have a big heavy-duty tarp. Uh, whenever it gets whenever it gets real cold and it got down to 40-ish, we put a big thick tarp over the whole tent, staked it down with the tent, and then ran the heater, and we honestly stayed real toasty. It was about 82 degrees in the tent. Yeah, it was, it was ridiculously warm, yeah. even though it was really cold outside. Yeah. So we're down to three toes, which makes a ton of room in the back of the truck. Yes. That's really exciting. And everything else will still, is soft sided and we'll pack around it. Yep. So. Yep. We have a couple more small totes, just like this one. Uh, you know, our, our dog stuff for Chip. We have our um, bug tote for all of the things to, you know, keep bugs away. Right. We're gonna go through those real quick. Yep. Um, we have a lot of like citronella candles and stuff. We might not need all of those. Oh, so. we won't. <laughs> so we're gonna go through those. Yep. So this is the last of the small stuff that we have um, to kind of go through. We have first backpacks. So this little gray backpack is gonna hold our chargers, our extra batteries, the girls' tablets, um, extra cords. For everything. It's, it's all the chargers for the Nintendo Switch, for the kids, um, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it's everything. Yep. And then this blue bag is um, the bag that we take with us when we go hiking. It has hand sanitizer, chips, poop bags, water bowl, um, first aid kit, ponchos, yeah. bug spray, sunscreen, all that kind of Probably stuff. Couple granola bars. Yep, water bottles. And then this gray bag is gonna be our drone, our GoPro, all of the camera accessories, our tripods. Yes. Yeah, so we put the electronics in the gray bag so they would be easy to find. Yep. And then this tote, it's gonna have sunscreen, bug spray, yep. all that stuff. We have a lot of candles, so we're gonna kind of eliminate that sound. And I would just like to point out, we found um, not everything you find on uh, clearance is a good thing. Um, we have one of my favorite finds from last year is S'mores Citronella Candles. They are as awful and smell and working yeah. as you would think. <laughs> they are Terrible. They were a dollar ninety, and we were so excited to find these Coleman. Honestly, I was citronella candles. I was excited because I thought it was funny that they made s'more citronella candles. Like you know, they're going to be bad to get begin with, but they were real bad. Yeah, they don't stay lit, and they're not great. So nope. we're gonna pitch these. Um, I did find this big candle on clearance at Target for like three dollars. That's the best time to get this kind of stuff. Don't ever pay full price. I mean, everything in here almost has a clearance sticker on it. Yeah. If you know you're going to be camping, there's no reason to, to wait the last minute to buy these things. Because you know you're going to need citronella candles. You know you're going to need uh, sunscreen. You know you're going to need all of this stuff. Yep. So stock up when it goes on clearance. And then this last tote is chips tote. This is chip stuff, his water bowls, his uh, treats, his... His leaves. Yeah, he loves his leaves. No. Uh, this is for cleaning his ears if he, if he gets in a lake or gets into any sort of water, we like to clean his ears, because if not, he gets ear infections. Yep. Um, if you can think of it, we have... We have treats, a brush, extra leash, his tie out. And as you can imagine, we have a chip's tote. Just like everything else, and we'll go he through. Has his own toes. Make sure that everything gets restocked. Yep. So this is the last of it. Um, we're gonna put this away. Oh, I did want to talk about one more thing. For starting fires, I have found this to be like a cheat. Not even like a trick. It feels like you're cheating, and it's because it's a butane torch. Um, when he wanted to order <laughs> this, I was like. 
I got maybe a little flack for wanting this butane torch off of Amazon. I think it was like 15 bucks. And between that and an extra can of butane, like starting fires, a little campfire is, it takes a matter of minutes now. Like there is no prepping and making sure that the leaves are in the perfect spot in order to blow on it, in order to get the fire started. Just holding the button, it'll get lit <laughs> and it works. Yep. Seriously. That stays in here too. All right, we eliminated the toad. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Um, we have a list of things we need to replenish. We have, um, we eliminated a full tote. That'll allow us to fit things much easier into the back of the truck without having to play um, Tetris. Last time we went to um, Alley Springs and we wanted to bring our scooter and we couldn't bring it because we didn't have room. Right, which is pretty ridiculous reason. Yeah. So we have, you know, we have what you see in front of us we have the Blackstone, the mini fridge. The tent. Yeah, the tent. The, the tarps. The tarps, the bunks. Um, the extra, our big like extra table, like our seating table, our little fold up table, chips kennel. But all of that has been like, when we say bunks, they're this wide. Yeah, they fold up they really, fold up. really small. Everything we bring folds up. The kennel folds up flat. Mm -hmm. The tables. The tables fold up flat. Like all of that stuff just lays on top. Yeah. So that doesn't necessarily take up room. That was never the problem. No, the <laughs> problem was the the totes. And then, because the bed of the truck is just high enough to lay everything flat on top of the totes. Yep, so this is what we're working with now. Yep, so between, you know, everything else in the propane tank, we'll have a okay. lot more room. For scooters and bikes and a hammock stand. Yeah, scooters and bikes, I'm excited. I have to give a shout out to, uh, Wander to get lost to I'm wearing their shirt today. So if you don't follow them on YouTube, make sure you follow them. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Yep. Um, over the winter, we won't be camping, but we're planning on doing a lot of um, activities and adventures around St. Louis. There's a lot to see, so we're excited about that. Yeah, um, go visit the Arch, go visit you know a few other places. Um, real quick, I hope everyone has a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving, happy holidays, everything in between. Yep. Um, eat lots of food, sit around during winter. It's gonna be wonderful. See you later. See ya. Bye. Bye. Now you gotta clean all this up. <laughs>